You don't even say nothing. I got it. No, no, but don't lose your food. The best thing you can do is say you are ignorant. I'm waiting on people to join. Oh, no, I'm on live. I'm on live right now. I, I'm on live. Okay. I waiting on like a lot of people to come in. Cause I'm about to really. I'm gonna take it's your order. It's your order. Y'all, I'm about to tell y'all what just happened. <laughs> so I'm at a restaurant, and it's two ladies. These two white ladies came up to us and said, "Can you guys shut him up? He's annoying." Talking about what? Hold on, y'all. Hold up. Hold up. How you even turn the camera? This lady right here and these lady. <laughs> y'all, please help me before I spaz. I swear to God on my life. I swear to God on my life. I'm about to get up and go address this lady. I got my mask right here. Obviously, you don't have to wear a mask at a table. What you mean? Yo, like I'm literally shaking. I have never had this happen to me in my life. Like. I just wanted to walk over and tell you that my son has autism. So for you to tell me that he's annoying and to shut him up is disrespectful. Well, you should be nicer and ask, hey, is there a problem or something like that? But that's rude. Okay. I've never had somebody ever in my life tell me something like that. Okay. Are you excuse me? Huh? I said, thank you. What you mean I'm excused? Like people say, like you, like you just think you can walk up to anybody, say what you want, and you're not gonna get well, addressed. We're trying to have dinner I'm, ju I'm sure you are, but if you really feel that bothered by a three-year-old with autism, maybe you should actually be moved because well, uh, we already told them what the deal was when we walked in here. Well, that was just so rude. No, you're not. Like you don't care. You just said, "Oh, you're excused." That's so rude. Do you condone? I'm not. I don't think you do. Like condone whoever this is to you. That was just. Is she just usually like this? I've never been in this situation with her, but I mean, I, and I don't know what she said. Right. She said, can you please shut your son up? He is annoying. And walked away. I thought she was joking. I thought she was about to say, oh, like he's, well, I'm just joking. Huh? I said, I didn't come back down. I mean, I walked away. So you, you, so you thought that was okay? I think it's over with. It's not. You don't ever, a reminder, you don't ever say that to somebody. Well, like ever. No matter if the kid is doesn't have autism or not. If you are bothered that much, leave. Do not ever walk up to somebody and say something like that. Like, you thought I was going to shut up. I don't know why you thought that. Wrong mother. So I'm letting you know right now. If my son screams again and you have a problem, walk back over there. Because we can talk about it. And you too. My son has autism. Do not ever tell me that he's annoying. Okay? Oh, I'm you know, sorry. We have ear problems, and that screaming really hurts. So we're not addressing you. We were going to go to the restaurant and ask them to move us to the other side. You were way you. more respectable, and I appreciate you for yeah. standing like that. But your wife said, yes, he is annoying. That, like... He, he cannot help it. Well, okay, but it, it is annoying. We understand that if he has autism, it's, it's something that you can't... I, have, I understand you can't control that. And so that's what I was telling you. have a lot more sense when you speak than she does and then she does. A lot more sense. And I appreciate you. But for future references, I'm not trying to be rude, but I just want to let you know if it's any kid, even with autism or without autism, you just don't you just don't do that. Like I said, if you want to be moved, I would personally ask and this waitress right here, she's a nice lady. I will ask her to move you. Can you please move these customers? My son cannot help the fact that he does what he does. And if anybody else has a problem, tell him right there, his mom comes to that table. Thank you. They really got a problem. They really got a problem. If she was really nice about it, like, I'm never in my life. And they want to act so hurt. Like, oh, I can't believe you would. What you mean? You thought you was going to get away with it? I know why you thought you would get away with it, but that's not the case. I'm the wrong mother.